Hey YouTube, Appalachian Survivalist here. I wanted to do a quick video, uh, try to give you guys some time to run out there real quick to uh, Walmart. If you have a chance, um, I don't know if you turn my radio off there. I don't know if you've had a chance or not to go to Walmart lately, but they're in the sporting goods section in the clearance area is this jewel and what this is is a 16 piece survival kit is this an awesome amazing you know go out there and buy a survival kit uh no is it worth what it costs on clearance absolutely right now on clearance it is five dollars and let's see what's in it so i bought four of these puppies so what we got is uh, this is what it says on the box one notebook eight pieces of compressed towels Fire starter, commando saw, keychain, light, eight in one multi tool, cutlery multi tool, paracord bracelet with whistle, and durable watertight case. I figured for $5, the durable watertight case is worth it alone. So this case has a rubber gasket. It's a pretty heavy plastic. It's the uh, Ozark Trail stuff, so it's not super high end, but it's also not super cheap either. Uh, it's going to do what I want it to do keep my stuff dry and keep it somewhat safe. Uh, there's a notebook, nothing fancy on the notebook. It's uh, got grid squares, I guess, so it makes it easier to draw. Maybe try to plot a course, something like that. Um, what I did think was cool is it has a small ruler here. Um, then it's got a whole list of things that you can use this for. Um, yeah, not bad, 48 page paper notebook. Paracord bracelet, I'm not a big fan of the Paracord bracelets, I'm not a bracelet guy, but um, having paracord and having it wrapped neatly and, and uh, tightly, it's kind of nice. Um, I'm not sure how long this paracord is. I would guess maybe about five to 10 feet, maybe longer than that, I don't know. Uh, but yeah, paracord is always something that comes in handy. Uh, it says it's got a whistle on it. The whistle doesn't really work well. It's kind of a novelty, but uh, still, uh, you got a paracord bracelet. Uh, this is what I actually do like about this. Uh, it does make it worth the $5 for sure, is the utensil uh, kit here. So you got your spoon, you got your knife, and you got a fork here with a bottle opener. So that's kind of handy. Not a bad little fork. Um, pretty sturdy, pretty, pretty heavy duty. Uh, nice little thing there. Uh, <laughs> the always out there always talked about survival saw these are worthless i hate these these are no good i've never needed one um or when i have needed one i really wish i didn't have this so uh, i don't know what i'll do with that i'll probably just leave it in there probably use it for something else down the road flashlight uh the, the batteries are no good in it so but uh, a little keychain flashlight if it works great if not no big deal uh, I'm going to probably put a better flashlight in this. Ferro rod, ferro rod, ferro, you know what I mean. Fer uh, striker. <laughs> so uh, this actually does work. You take it off the chain there and you, you can strike. And um, there's one side that you can scrape the magnesium off. And then the good striking side uh, works really well. Actually, not, not a bad little deal there. I'm actually surprised for uh, the fact that it actually does work. This, I'm assuming it's just toilet paper. It says towels. Um, I think you wet these or whatever. I will probably just use these for some kind of tender if I want to start a fire or something like that. They're obviously going to burn very well. And if anything, the container is very usable. So it's a little waterproof container. You could put all kinds of little things in there, matches, um, uh, any kind of fire starter, anything like that. So there's that. And then the old school uh, Swiss Army style knife, uh, obviously. You know, nothing fancy. It's got the knife blade, it's got the scissors, it's got the bottle opener, the can opener, the uh, corkscrew, the Phillips screwdriver, and then the small, um, you know, nail file, nail hook, whatever you want to use that for. Uh, kind of disappointed. It does not have the toothpick and the tweezers like every other Swiss Army knife has. So, But, again, for $5, totally worth it. Um, 
my goal, like I said, I bought four of these. I had already bought two of them for my kids. Um, so this is actually the, this will be six total. I bought two for my kids just to kind of give them something neat as a gift. And um, I got them on clearance the first time they were put on clearance, which was $11. Now they're down to $5. So there's a good chance they could be even cheaper if, they, if they're still there. So go and snag them if you can. Uh, check them out. Uh, totally worth it. Like I said, waterproof case. Um, my goal is to put these in bug out bags. I'm gonna add a little bit to them, put some lighters, um, some other items in there that we wanna keep dry, keep safe. Pens, pencils, all that kinds of, of stuff that we want there. But you'll see them on the shelves. They'll look just like this. Uh, they come in black and pink. So definitely worth the $5. So get out there, check them out. So uh, be sure if you haven't already, like and subscribe. Uh, hit the notification bell so you'll get uh, upcoming videos that I'm going to be putting out. I've got a lot of videos I want to start putting out. Um, I know last week I got pretty busy, um, but definitely going to be putting some videos out uh, more this weekend as well. So look look out for those. I'm going to try to do a bug out bag video. I'm going to also do a video on some medical, uh, medical supplies that I've uh, purchased and talk a little bit about that. And then I'm also going to be doing a little bit, um, not a political section, but a current events and what's going on in America and what you as a patriot need to know. So, but anyway, just a good little kit here. Again, uh, worst case scenario, you pay $5 for a case that you can take on your boat, uh, take camping, take hunting, do whatever, and keep your phone dry, keep everything electronic dry. You want to keep, keep dry. So, all right. So like, subscribe, uh, make sure that, uh, oh, also check me out on uh, Instagram. I got an Instagram account now. So check us out and uh, be sure to uh, add me on the, the gram there and uh, look forward to uh, hearing your comments, uh, questions, concerns, and overall just saying hi. So uh, as usual, God bless.